so we just arrived at the Kongoya market this is the Malindi highway the other road leads you to Mombasa town and the other one takes you to Nyali and so we'll be crossing over to go to the market so this is the Kongoya market and uh, I can see people are back here if you came here like um, two weeks or three weeks ago you couldn't mm -hmm. find anyone here because uh, the corona issue was very very tough but people are back i think it's because we need food and you know you can't be eating the food you are eating like three weeks ago but uh, not so many people because on a normal day this place is so flopped everywhere like on the road and besides and in the market there are so many people traders from all over the counties they come here to you know to get some stuff and go back to their counties so this place is always flopped like really flopped so well we thank god at least you can get <laughs> some food Another thing I've noticed is that this place has really, really improved after the market was built. If you know Kongoya very, very well, you should know that this place, as you can see, people are wearing gumboots because it's very, very raining here in Mombasa. And on a normal day when the market was not built, eh, this place used to be very, very muddy. Actually, when I came here from home, I thought that I would have so many mud on my feet after I'm done with the, with the groceries. But Hmm, to my surprise, no, this place is very, very much okay. So, kudos to whoever built this market. And at least when it rains, eh, people can actually go and cover themselves, you know, in the, in that big market fair, unlike those old days. So, it's a nice thing, we appreciate it. So, this is our market, the Kongoya market, and for us, we are going inside that big market there in the basement. I don't want to go up <laughs> in the basement, that is where you get cheap, cheap stuffs for you know, groceries and everything. But down here, they get their stuff there and then come sell here. So, if you want cheap, cheap, you must go in there. Let's go. Uh, here we are going into the big building now. This is the entrance. It's the first entrance. So we are going in. And right when you enter, there's, a, there's this very big market. This is the onions. I don't know whether you can see. Sorry, my camera is very, very misbehaving today. I don't know why but if you need onions eh, there, there you go if you need onions on bulky in bulky this is where you come and get them you can see that yeah that's the onion market and on the other hand this is where we are going to be buying our stuff there's a mama there where i like to buy my onions every day because they are good and dry because i use them in like maybe two weeks or one week and there she is very welcoming i love her <laughs> and so here i'm choosing the onions i want to buy mm -hmm. maybe you can watch For real, this market is very, very organized. Eh? You know, I don't know. The, the last time I was here, the market was not built. You can imagine when was that. Eh? Okay, I came here once, eh? but I never came to this place. I went to the other side where they, they, we buy clothes. <laughs> I'm a thrifter. <laughs> so I went there to buy clothes and I never came to on the other on, on this side. Eh? Although I used to hear that the market is being built, the market is being built, but I never came. I only came the other day to take a look so that I, when I come back here to do my grocery shopping, at least I won't get lost or lost you guys <laughs> as I take my camera. So I traced my mama where she shifted. She used to be down, down, down there after the entrance. There, there's another, ah, there's so many entrances here in the market. So I don't know how, what I'm telling you. There's so many entrances here depending on where you're coming from and um, whichever, whatever you came to, you know, purchase. I 
guess we are done with our onions so we will go and look for what 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 else our tomatoes tomatoes no um on this row there's a place that i buy um what what sweet potatoes sweet potatoes apombele so let's go there and get some sweet potatoes okay so let's go and get the potatoes Ooh, look at that those are my avocados i love avocados you guys <laughs> i think that's the reason why i've added so much weight especially on my tummy can you see that can you see that tummy oh gosh i wanna cry <laughs> if you know me very well and you follow me on social media or maybe you know me personally you know that my, my tummy is always flat. Like, yeah, really flat. <laughs> I'm a healthy eater. But uh, ever since quarantine, ooh, ooh, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I've been eating everything, crepes, fries, everything. Now I've become a chef. I'm cooking everything. In fact, everything I see on uh, YouTube, I come back home and try. The other day, I was baking a cake. Huh? I baked a very big cake, so I put it in the fridge and I ate it all of it. <laughs> I followed the recipes from Faith Nina. Faith Nina, she has a cooking channel. Eh? So I go down there and look whatever she's doing and then come and duplicate here in my kitchen. So I've been cooking everything. Hmm? This quarantine should get over, my friends. But um, I'm back to my potatoes. I love sweet potatoes so much because they are healthy and i'm used to them now i can eat sweet potato with everything like with eggs in the morning in the evening it can be you know it can replace my ugali and all other starch whatever eh? so i love sweet potatoes so much oh we are done <laughs> we're done with the sweet potatoes and my friend uh, said that we should go up i didn't want to go upstairs so that is the market that's not the market oh i've seen something else there i saw a pumpkin and i wanted to buy but anyway we are going to be back so here we are going upstairs to look for potatoes and kitungu saomu na ginger i love ginger and uh, garlic so much so let's check whether we are going to get eh? and also tomatoes eh? this is where i buy tomatoes sometimes uh the guy whom i used to buy from shifted he used to be down there now he came up here so when i was going to buy tomatoes i saw this kayang lady and she talked to me hi can you buy from me i was like okay no worries support her sister and then just when i want to buy she was like why is that guy taking photos i'm like okay you know when this happens i normally don't talk i just told my friend let's go and then we went we left and then i come to my baba here where i'm buying my tomatoes this is my customer from way back then he used to be down down there so the other day last week but last week here yeah, last week monday when i came here i checked like i told you i came here to do a you know to see where i'll be buying my things eh? so i found him here and so i love him also he's very welcoming and doesn't mind me taking my videos you know people are, are are funny here i don't know they think that when you take videos or pictures you're going to sell they say that you're going to sell and you're going to benefit from them and i don't know <laughs> it's so funny sometimes and when i encounter those uh, you know those types of things sometimes i just don't talk because i don't want to quarrel with anybody you never know maybe some other time i'll need them or they need me so i don't quarrel all i do i leave and go where I'm welcomed <laughs> after here we are going to look for potatoes I need some potatoes and here we are I'm gonna buy potatoes here and I don't need so much potatoes uh, only a few the reason why I don't buy so many things is because I don't live very far from the market yeah, although it's a it's a driving distance but not really far so if i can get everything fresh like on a weekly basis or two week two weeks why should i buy so many things i need them fresh 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 <laughs> mm. 
this one, this, this mama I don't know, but she was also very, very welcoming. Mm? She's like, ah, Santa Santa Mstana Angu Karibu Siku Nyingi Nirashkur. Very welcoming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are done and we are here buying some ginger and um, garlic. I love ginger. I love ginger so much. My tea, my tea. I love ginger so much. My tea, my tea. I love Oh, and then saumu is another thing, huh? You know, it brings up all the mm, the sweetness and everything <laughs> in the food, and I love the smell also. And oh, by the way, did you know that garlic is also used? Uh, mm, where? Ah, let me just leave the topic. <laughs> If you only knew what I wanted to say, Jamani Mungu nifunde she kunyama za kimya. This one I also don't know, but he's very, very welcoming. A very young guy, but very, very welcoming. I love it when people, you know, are good. I'm good myself. I'm done with the big market. Now we have come down. This is another wing where I'll be buying um, melon as you can see. I love melon so much. So I'll be buying melon here and then later I'll go and buy some coconuts somewhere around. It should be behind there. Mm -hmm. And this is where I buy my melons. Eh? And also this one, this, this one I know, this guy I know, he used to be the other side where the coconuts are right now. Eh? But uh, I think after this, this wing was built, this is another market, not the same market where we are, we were. After this wing was built, I think he came here. And he usually sells me like this one, that one, the one I'm holding there, it's a hundred bob. A hundred Kenya shillings. And it's a big melon, as you can see, this one, I, you can eat with your family. <laughs> so like I told you, it's really, really important to know where you buy things here in Congo, yeah? Because that same melon, you can buy it outside there before we came, eh? where I showed you people put their things down. You can buy it there at maybe 200 or 250 or even 150, depending. In fact, they look at you like this and sell uh, sell for you as they see you. I don't know how they <laughs> they know that maybe you have money, someone else doesn't have money. They have their way of knowing. <laughs> it's so funny. So, yeah. That's my melon and I love it. The guy is also very, very welcoming. Here we are. This is where I get my coconuts. I think where the, the, my, my friend is standing with the camera is where coconuts used to be. But now again they have shifted to this place. And it's okay. Just I think because uh, the place is covered, so when it rains, you don't have an issue with that. So, honestly, I want to say again, this is a very, very good thing. Eh? This market being built here, oh gosh, it's a very, very good thing for the traders here. It used to be messy when it rains out there. So, I think this is the, the, the last thing that I'll be buying in this market. I'm already tired and I need to go back. Home. I wanted a pumpkin, but I don't think I'll be going back there. I also needed um, bananas, like uh, green bananas, not the ripe ones. Eh? I have the ripe ones. I needed green bananas, but I don't think I'm going back there to buy bananas. After this, I'm going back home. Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next.